hello guys how are you doing so today i'm going to show you how you trend on the minus features so this subject is very very interesting and this video is just going to be very long and uh, very interesting as i'm going to show you right over here my name is dan and all you can just do make sure that you subscribe down one over there make sure you also uh click that notification so that you can just be notified anytime you just upload a new video so what you just need to start trending on the binance you need of course the binance and you need the application if you have phone you're using ipad android phone don't worry we are going to all that is just the same thing so if you have mobile air or those things we are just doing the same thing okay don't worry it's just the same thing now where are we going to start right over here because i'm going to explain to the language you are going to understand i'm not going to skip anything so you uh, understand this and you don't even have to watch another video if you just watch this full video you are going to understand everything that you just need to do over here so that you can start trending on binance features okay i will differentiate why i say features and not the other if this is your first maybe your first time to trend on the binance now let's start over here where do you have to start away from okay oh yeah so what you have to do for the first time is to deposit on the binance and all you just have to do is to click trend make sure that you have a verified account to see whether your account is verified guys just click this profile over here and you do see over here displaying your email and it says you are verified regular user verified if you're not verified make sure that you are verified before you do anything else over here if this is the first time maybe to start on the binance click the link in the description to register and verify your account using my link okay now let's start over here we are saying that you start by depositing and you can deposit the easiest way is to deposit through peer-to-peer -peer trading okay you trend and buy usdt which is a stable coin and you can buy it in the peer-to-peer -peer trending how do you deposit and withdraw money on the peer-to-peer -peer trending that is the uh thing i talked before and i taught you how to do that using the video you can also click the link in the below in the description i would specify that link so that you can just know how to deposit to the group to peer to peer trending and you deposit money to the binance okay after depositing your money to the binance through peer to peer trending let's just click wallet over here yeah i'm going slow okay so that we can just i want you to understand this fully now when we just click overview over here overview is just going to uh, tell us where our money is in different wallet because it is binance binance is a wallet it's an exchange but it has different wallet inside it this uh fiat and sport wallet there's margin there's features funding hand vanilla option and binance all those you see on the right left side over here are wallet and all of them you can okay when you click overview is just saying that you are just going to see the total amount of money that is in total of your wallet okay so this is a um, total amount that is in all my wallet or maybe in one of my wallet okay now how do you start over here first of all after depositing money it will just go to the the funding wallet that you see over here when you deposit through peer-to-peer -peer trending if you are using mobile phone you are going to go and click spot wallet and then transfer the money to the fiat and spot after clicking after fiat and spot wallet then we will come out to uh deposit money to where we want to trend because if you deposit money to fiat and spot wallet you can only trend on the spot as you can see over here spot because when we click trend over here you can see this spot so when you click trend you can when your money is in the uh that is it fiat in the spot you can trend on spot and you can trend on uh there's the spot over here okay okay let's just go to the next thing which is derivatives derivatives over here now this is where we are going to be trending over here because this is something different from here so over derivatives over here we are going to trend on the binance features which is this on the binance features we have m features and we have coin m features usd and coin but we are going to specifically to go to usd 
and features. That is where we are going to do. The next thing that you just have to do is after transferring your money from the funding wallet to the fiat and the spot wallet, the next thing that you're just going to do is now transfer your money to the fiat and the spot, uh, to the features where we are going now to trend. Because over here, it tells us that you can trend on M features. But what do you have to do? You have to transfer your money to the features wallet over here because you are going to trend on features. If you want to trend on spot, fiat and spot, you transfer money to fiat and spot. If you want to transfer money, if you want to trend on margin, you just go and click margin and transfer your money to the margin. And you can see right over here, you can trend on the margin over here. So let's transfer our money. And yeah, I've already transferred. And transfer, of course, is very easy. You just click transfer. You can see over here, you can transfer between from fiat to this one and over here you just select the coin which you are going to transfer for example i bought usdt you just click usdt and then you can click the maximum or the amount of usdt that you want to transfer we are done with that process is it easy like that or not transfer things and coins over there you can transfer any coin from funding to spot and then from spot to m features that how it goes now let's just go to the m features so that we can see why are we going to trade because i have already transferred my money over there maybe you're asking yourself how much is the minimum you can just deposit and then start trading with on binance that is minimum of 10 usdt in kenya that is about 1200 kenya shillings 1200 and also yeah on the to deposit on binance and to withdraw on binance the minimum you can deposit and withdraw is six uh, is 270 kenya shillings 270 kenya shillings but to trend on the binance on features and the spot and all that you need a minimum of 10 usdt but to trade on p2p that is withdrawing and depositing you need a minimum of um 270 kenya shillings okay that's about uh two uh usdt something like there yeah now you can see on my balance is trending over here i have a balance of 10.69 usdt so it means that we have the minimum requirement for us to trend on the binance okay now let's start over here we can see now we are on the binance features at this written or not binance if you see you you uh where you are trending it is just written binance only just know you are in the binance you are in the spot and fiat and the spot okay now we start over here and what you see for the first time over here let me just introduce you to this you see pair this is BTC USDT. That means for every one BTC, that is for every one Bitcoin is going at 20,608 USDT. That is the price of the Bitcoin. Now, we have, if you click this arrow over here, you will see a lot of pairs. You see a lot of pairs. Eh? You see a lot of pairs if you just click over here. We have a lot of pairs as you can see over here that are on the M features over here. You can see we have DNB USDT. Most of this you can you can even search. For example, let's say we want to trend Ethereum. Ethereum USDT. You just write Ethereum USDT and you see Ethereum USDT, Ethereum USDT, uh quarterly. We we have Ethereum quarterly 09 that all oh, these ones you see them over here so we are trending on the perpetual and this is why you see the price are uh, fluctuating and changing very volatile cryptocurrency that is btc we have the mark price this is the current price where um, the price is at maybe yeah where the mark price it just indicate where the price is at we have also this counting uh this uh time after whatever is going to happen okay the thing important thing over here is you can observe the changes 24 hours change is positive 6.43 that means a market has risen in the last 24 hours by 1250 usdt and it has gone the highest 
in the last 24 hours it has, has gone high of 21,099 the lowest it has gone in the last 24 hours this is the amount so you can also use this amount to, to any time you maybe you are just doing your trend and all that now the next thing that we are going to see over here is this you can see there's something return time 15 minutes one hour four hours so this will just help us to calculate and uh, these candlesticks so let me just zoom in we will come to uh, when we just come to uh doing analysis of these candlesticks i'll come and explain that further when we come to this area let's come on this side if you can see right over here we have the rent and we have the green over here this means there are people who are buying this are uh, indicating the fight between the buyers and the sellers this is the fight between buyers and the sellers sellers are trying to sell at the highest price and the buyers are trying to buy the at the lowest price and this is what makes the difference in the market this is what defines where the market is going if the buyers becomes many then the market is going to rise if the sellers becomes many they overpower the buyers then the market is going to go down okay this is where everything you see everything over here this is just to change the colors here yeah now the next thing we will come to see over here of course these has a lot of details but i'll just do uh i'll just go through them just a small okay let's start over here with isolated so there's difference between isolated margin and the cross margin so when you click cross margin and you trend on the cross margin it means all cross position and the same margin asset share the same asset across margin balance so that means cross margin when you click this and maybe you get liquidity and that means the market goes below even to the what you can what what is in in there okay for example i buy the market over here at 2662 and maybe the minimum it could could go maybe for me to go loss and maybe my money to finish was to twenty thousand, and maybe it goes below and goes to 19 that means i will get liquidated and then it will just start taking all your money from all the cross or the wallet that means it is going to be using it is you are really skiing all your wallets when you click cross because it goes all across of them but when you click isolated it's very important because anytime maybe you get in trouble it will only use the money that is in the features so it is always going to select isolated because you know something isolated is something that is kept alone just kept alone eh? not excluding others or any other thing isolated okay so you isolate you say i want to risk any amount that is just here that will be available on my features so that if you will be having money maybe on the spot wallet or maybe on the funding that money will not be affected okay now that is isolated we have the leverage over here the leverage means you can see for example i have 10 usdt over here and when i just click this leverage over here that means maybe you have small amount of money and you just want to trade with high amount of money you can click over here to multiply your money for example when i click times 10 times 10 let's click 10 okay 10 i'm finding 10 over here let's say you want to click 10 you can click over here it's going to click so that you okay you can subtract this times 10 it means whatever you have capital you can multiply it times 10 to trend with that amount of money but do you know what yes you will have a multiple amount of money for example i have 10 usdt if i just multiply that amount of money you see i'll be trending with 100,000. that is 100 usdt that's about 12,000. but my 10 usdt just got cost like 1200 so you can see i'm trending ha uh, 100 uh that is 10 times of what i deposited that means to get profit I can get even times 
times that of money. But to lose the same, I can lose the amount 10 times of what I couldn't have lost. So it means when the market just goes below me or just goes against me, kido to just a small thing, then I'm going to get the higher loss. If the market goes higher, it means I'm going to get high profit 10 times of what I could have gotten when I just place a trend of 10. What if I just place 100%, 100 times 100? That means I have 10 USDT over here. But I will just be trading with 1000 USDT. That is 100, that is almost 120,000, but you deposit only 1000. So it means market will just be, if the market goes against me, I will be losing 100 times than this. That means you can put your money over here and make even a lot of money within some seconds. And you can put this amount of money, 10 USDT, and lose it within seconds. That is how leverage is. You can see also the Binance just gives you a warning. Selecting high leverage such as 10 increases your liquidification risk. Always manage your risk levels to see our help articles for more information. So I just advise you when you are starting, you can use a leverage of 2 and 3. Maybe, but if you are not interested to use leverage, maybe you can use one. And that means for every Bitcoin, if you have a lot of money, there's no need to use leverage. Because if you just be buying Bitcoin worthy of 20,661 USDT, that is what you are, there is no way that you ever get liquidated unless, unless the BTC goes to zero, zero complete zero complaint of which cannot happen that is very interesting so trending with a high amount of money is nice and trading with high leverage is very risky so let's just put at least okay i'm going to put one i'm going to put one or two i'm going to put two i'm going to put a leverage of two okay and then I confirm. Isolate. And remember that? Yes. <clears throat> and then you just confirm this. I hope you are following this because it's very simple to follow everything over here. Let's just go down over here. Limit market and stop limit. So I'm just interested in two things over here. I'm interested in limit and market. So limit here, you say, I want to buy BTC. Okay, our goal over here is to buy low and sell high. Okay. And there's also something that happens vice versa, where you can sell short. That means you can buy, you can buy the price of BTC, where you can sell the price of the BTC when it is at that 20. And maybe your prediction is right, it is going to fall, you are going to buy when the price goes down. Don't get confused with that. Let's just me explain the first of all how to buy long. Okay. Now let's just click limit. Over here in the limit, you are saying I want to buy your specific price. You even delete this, you can delete this and put your price. Maybe you want to buy the price when the BTC at 20,600. Yeah, because we see market being volatile. What about the size? I want to buy 50% of that, 100% of that. And you can see, I put a leverage of two. That means I'm going to get two times this one, which is 20.6. Yeah? So what if I put a leverage of what I was showing you, a leverage of 100. Leverage of 100. So guess, just do calculations. How much am I going to be trending with over here? I'm going to be trending with the 100% of that, which is this times that. Okay, so you can see even the Binance will just, okay, you can see I'll be trading with 1000 and that so that becomes very very risky okay now let's just come back and click our two 
Let's click draw. Want to trend one with the 20. Yeah, so we just put the we send that you put maybe a maximum or an amount of you want as long as it's more than 10. And then you can click over here. We have take profit and stop loss. You click that. This is TP stroke SL. Okay, you click that. That means if the price just goes below me so much, I want to take profit maybe at 20 900 when it goes at least with 300 yeah and i want to stop loss if the price goes against me that means it is goes below i don't want it to go below twenty thousand. the market will just stop automatically so you just do that and then you click buy so when you click buy you have to confirm buy long so after buying that the market just gets success you see it, it over here so you can see on the submitted so it means when the price goes to that level i will be able now the market will just buy automatically when it just reaches there okay so let's refresh the page maybe we can see it now after placing that trend so you'll see there will be an open honda when you come down over here you see there's an open honda that means you have ordered at the price of 2600 and you are buying at this price 26 uh 20 usdt and there's nothing that has been filed already and you are buying which coin are you using you are using btc usdt now that is it you can even decide to cancel an order for example you can see btc is just going high and maybe there's no chances that it's coming back soon over there maybe you are a swing trender a swing trender is a person who enters and closes the market instantly so you just have to click delete over here and then you can cancel that market okay and when you cancel of course the money is just going to come back over here again okay so let's just do that and uh we see yes i want to console or in it has been cancelled although it's just here i don't know why my my btc is i don't know why my wallet is not refreshing so fast so i just have to refresh again manually there now you can see my price my money is just back again to my available balance if you see you have money over here your money that means you are not in the trend now let's learn something over here about the market so about the market you always say that instead of putting the price that you just want to maybe buy over here you are just telling the market that you just want to buy at the current price whatever the price it is whether it's just the moment you click buy it will just buy automatically the price that is currently over there for example when i just click buy over here to just buy at that current price yeah so you can even put the maximum amount how much do you want according to whatever if it is 99 percent 100 percent 50 percent of what you just want to know to buy according to what you just want to buy you can put it over here either 100 percent of that don't forget to put the take profit and losses okay and to stop the loss okay so that you can just be on the safer side to avoid liquidification and there's something i want to mention over here you can just calculate what you want you can see this come button over here this one this is a calculator you can calculate everything how much you are going to hand how much maybe you'll just lose if something goes wrong for example let's say i want to put um three that is uh three and then i just want to maybe to enter market at 2700 i want to assist the market at 2900 and I want to use how much USDT do I'm going to use 10. Calculate the profit. Well, you can see very little because I'm using what if you are using a high amount of money? What if you are using a high amount of money? You can see the profit. This is why you'll be seeing all the profit you are just be making. For example, when you increase the leverage, you see the amount of money increases. You see profit will just increase because you're using high leverage over here it's very risky of course when you use 
high life range okay so that's all about uh, that and uh, you can calculate your profit right over here and you are or everything is there now before even you just place a trend there's something we send is about how to maybe do it let me just teach you on how to do some something about the analysis that, that we call technical analysis even before you just do a trade and you see this arrow button over here or maybe first of all you can see this is our original chart first of all click trending view you click trending view eh? so after clicking trending view just wait it for load over here so that we can just get everything that we just want to do our analysis before even we do a trend most of times now some people can just do a analysis even for many hours and then you just enter trend in one minute analysis are very important fundamental analysis are different from technical analysis technical analysis is analysis that you just do on the chart maybe you want maybe you know this chart has been here this is going to be there that is technical analysis when you talk about the fundamental analysis we are talking about what is the news saying? what are these guys saying what is happening in the country what is happening what are people saying rumors are saying what so those are fundamental analysis technical analysis you just check on the chart understand the difference how best now when you come over here we are all here the reason we have clicked trending view is so that we can have this so this will help you to do analysis over here you can check on the left side and you expand you can expand this so i want to show you the simple technical analysis that we are going to do before you enter the market oh uh, yeah but if you maybe someone gave you a signal you just enter through what i've just showed you so this is a chart okay this is the chart this is the chart so if you watch my previous video i just defined what is cryptocurrency cryptography you maybe you should check on that you have to be following my video so that you can just be understanding all these things very really easy because i always explain to the language you can understand so you can see over here we have 15 minutes one hour four hours one day and one week so that means for every candlestick the reason they are called candlesticks because they look like candles you can see this candlestick over here this is one this another another one another one everyone so this is for one day after 24 hours, this has been moving all this for 24 hours we have this 24 hours we have this okay this is a candlestick for everyone when you click one hour that means one candlestick represent one hour okay so after 24 hours maybe we have 20 inside that one will have 24 of them and these are them huh? so you can see this is how the market has just be moving every one hour so you can see the last time it was here 17 and now it has gone up up to here okay now let's just do some analysis over here maybe we are swing trenders swing trenders are trenders who enters the market and they exist entrance there. so let's just do some analysis so let us assume we use the second one over here this is line this line will just help you to do a to draw a line like this eh? so the market the last time market was here and the market just simple one oh sorry just a simple one and this time move here and this time the market has just moved here let's see this is the highest just moved this is the highest i can click it again it has moved this highest you can see it has repeated that for many times when there yeah and you can see currently it's just there so this that is it and you can the beauty of these candlesticks are these lines you can even as they say this line is this way you can extend it to look good and change colors for example you can see that you can even change the color and put in a color you want maybe green maybe that color so that it can be seen you can even expand this to looking that way yeah that's something like that and you can see how the market has been moving so that means we are at the peak 
high peak of the market. That means maybe we are expecting the market maybe to go low again. So if I were you, I could not enter and buy here. So we cannot enter and buy here. We can only enter a sell because maybe we expect if the market breaks this because you can see one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the last seven hours, the market now trying to break this one. Okay. The last time, the first time after dropping 17,000, it went high off this and it just started dropping again to 20,400. And now it is it trying again to go up, but this acted as the resistance. It is starting now going down again. So we maybe we can expect the market to go down again. Maybe it can even drop this because if you just see maybe one day chart, we can experience that. Okay. So you can, okay, this, okay, you can see what I've written over here. You can see these candles, okay? So you can see this. Maybe when the market are trying to go, maybe it will just break this. So you can see it has taken so many days for the market to go that low. Many, many years, okay? It has not gone that low since many years. Since many years of the Bitcoin. The last time it, it went to that far was... I think let me check let me check over here the last time it was here it was December 2020 this that is two years ago when the market was here it was actually actually it was November 2020 okay that's when the market was here that is two years ago almost three years ago now when the market was at this price, so maybe we can expect market to go down or maybe when it goes high, we can expect it to go this high. So maybe you can just decide to buy Bitcoin now. Yeah. So that's how we just do uh, analysis. You can maybe next time we'll learn how to do all these things, but we are just learning on how to put a trend on features. I'll make sure that I come with another video on how to do all these things how to do a very clear technical analysis before even placing a trend that's very very important okay now let's um buy i want to place a trend over here maybe i can just go a loss i don't want to nene that but uh, i want to buy it at the market so that you can see what you are going to see because uh, i want to explain something so i'm going to put this at maximum I'm going to put this as maximum. We have leverages, of course, it's very small. You can see the market is going down and don't care about that. And uh, we'll, okay, I'll put the stop loss as 20,000. Okay, and then I put, uh, okay, the take profit, no, I'll take it at, maybe when the market goes to 21, because right now we are 20. And I stop loss, I'll put 20,000 right over here. And then I just have to click. When I just click buy, I will buy at the current price of the market. So I just have to click buy. Then I will be in the market, everything just moving up. You can see on the submitted, I can tell you now I'm in the market, okay? Yeah, I'm in the market right now. So I don't know what is happening to my Binance because it's not refreshing automatically. And you can see I bought, but the market is still going down as I send according to the analysis. But I'm done the wrong thing though, but I'm going to show you. It's only that I just want to show you what is happening and what you can just do over here. So the analysis told us that the market is just going to go deep. It's just going to go back and go down. That was the analysis sent. Okay, so let me refresh the page. Maybe you can see what is happening so that I can just show now what where you see the profit and where you see you, the losses you have gone and the liquidification. Okay, now you can see over here we have an open market and open orders. And you can see still the market is just going down very very down as we just seen our analysis in the market is going to be going down okay but we did the mistake although it's no problem i'm going to stop it maybe it's just going to rise again before it goes deep 
Now I'm waiting for the binance to refresh my page over here. I don't know what is happening to the binance. Now you can see right over here, let's just go down over here and you can see our market is open because you can see this accumulation of profit that is going high and going low. So when you see your market is trending at rent, that means you are in loss. For example, you can see I'm in loss of 0.01 USDT. That's one Kenyan shillings, okay? Mm, yeah. Now, when it just goes green, I want it to go green, maybe the price is going to go higher so that I can just show you what happens when you just get that okay now the other thing we check over here is the leverage you can see we place the leverage of two now you can see it's green when it's green just know that is your profit and you can decide to stop the loss anytime you just want okay you when you click market it means you are going to sell at the market price and cl closing the market the other thing we can see over here is the open on dust Open orders means that is the stop loss and take profit. For example, we say that when the price reaches 20,000, we are going to sell because we have gone a lot of loss. When the price goes to 21, we are, the market, this Binance is going to sell to you automatically because the price has, will have gone high and you will have profit. Okay. And now there's something we call liquidification over here. That means we will just be liquidated at 10,372. That means when the price goes below 10,000, maybe 371, all your money will have gone and you will have nothing. When you close the, the Binance will close the market and you get liquidated. That means all the available balance that will just be in your Binance on the Binance features will just be taken by Binance, okay? That will be loss. Now, that is how I'm about to trend. If I just want to close this market, I can just close it automatically. So I'm going to close it, of course, because I'm not, I'm not trending Binance. I'm not, I cannot trend with the ten dollars because something you see, there's nothing happening. Zero point zero two seriously, with that movement, there's nothing you can get over here. So you can close anytime. The moment you click market over here then you can see on the submitted and you will have sold everything and your money will come over here automatically when you refresh the page you will have your available balance over here so as i said i don't know why my balance is not refreshing my balance automatically but i just have to do this refreshing so that you, maybe you can see it I know this video is being long, but I know you are understanding something when it comes to trending on the Binance feature. So it is just a simple now to do that because these features will just help you to do money. It's just like placing robot. Maybe when you are sure of something, you tell the Binance that I want to take this market over here. And you guess what? When you put limit, you can put limit. You say, I want to buy maybe at 20,600. And then you tell the Binance, when it, is, it, it reaches 20, 21,000, I want to sell automatically. And maybe when it goes to 20, below 20,000, I want to sell again at that loss so that I cannot get liquidated. And the Binance, if, the, if what you send happens, it will just happen. And maybe you are gone and you meet your profit or your loss. So you can see my available balance is now over there and it's just right over here so it is just very easy on how to trend on the binance uh binance features if you love this video make sure that you subscribe if you have any question what do you want me to make next leave it in the comment section only for the positive vibes over here and you send us just just observe eh? the market is just going according to the analysis so sometimes most of the time analysis are very 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 correct okay so see you next time if you want maybe to know and, and discuss more about the technical analysis how to to do it and how to do all that all those things i hope you have done those something and i would love to see your comment down one
over there if you maybe you have watched this video from start up the hand see you next time i love you good night